Undefeated. It's better than his opponent. My opponent ain't had no loss in this record. He just got one. What's up, Tarver? Matter of fact, I might fight Antonio Tarver because he deserves a shot quick. Because he's standing nine feet away over there, right? right? right. I'll fight. Antonio Tarver's an awfully big, light heavyweight. I don't give a damn. That was a big one I fought. Now I don't give a damn. I... Hey, one more thing. Before the seventh round, your train. And Danny Garcia, who do you want next? Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm chill on my ranch. That's but when I seen Roy for the first time, I was like, Bo, <laughs> that's Roy Jones Jr. What's going on, you guys? So, the great Roy Jones Jr. had an interview with Fight Hype. Salute to Fight Hype. Roy Jones Jr. had an interview, right? Man, Roy Jones Jr. for the past few years has been pretty outspoken in regards to how he feels about this Terrence Crawford Errol Spence thing. And to say the very least, Errol Spence fans are not too in favor of the great Roy Jones Jr., right? But he gave his thoughts on how he would have had Terrence Crawford get that fight with Errol Spence Jr. Hit that like button for your boy. Give me that HBO special. That's the Help a Brother Out special. We on the road to 15,000 subscribers. But Roy Jones Jr. comes out and says that he wished he could have got Terrence Crawford, right? And he would have told him, listen to everybody. But I wish I would have got Terrence Crawford because I would have got Terrence Crawford and I would say, listen to everybody. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put out here one time, one time on it. Here's the deal. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, you got to be scared. And I'd have walked away from the table. He said he would have came to the table with the offer, right? And he said if he didn't take the offer, then, then he's scared. And he said that in regards to Errol Spence Jr. And now we know that Roy Jones Jr. feels that Errol Spence Jr. is ducking Terrence Crawford. Guys like James Tony uh, come out and say Errol Spence Jr. can't spell fight. He ducking Crawford. I mean, those guys will come out and tell you straight up, right? Certain fighters will come out and just tell you straight up, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? But for the better part of three and a half years, that's what it was looking like. Errol Spence Jr. was dismissive. He was reluctant. He didn't really seem to want no parts of Terrence Bud Crawford. OK, so miss me with the bullshit from the Spence fanboys. I'm, I like Spence, but let's be honest. He was very dismissive of Terrence Crawford, Bob Arum, all these excuses, all these hurdles, all these guys like Roy Jones seen that shit. And fans really got mad at Roy Jones because he spoke his mind. Like, look, man, for lack of better words, he's ducking Terrence Crawford. And fans didn't like that shit. Why? Because you can't say nothing by Lord, thou savior Spence. You can't do it. You can't do it. You must praise him. You must, he must, you must praise him like as thou he's walking on water and shit like that, man. Turning rice into gold and, you know, he can heal the blind and shit. That's the energy you get from these Spence fanboys. Not Spence fans, but Spence fanboys. Okay? Because if you could be objective and look at the scenario, the situation, yeah, business could be an excuse. That is the fight to have been made in boxing. And this is why guys like Ray Jones come out and say what he's saying. He don't care if you like it or not. Roy Jones Jr. is already solidified. He's a great, he's one of the greatest fighters ever, right? But he said he wished he could have got a hold of Terrence, Terrence Crawford. He told him, look at everybody, listen to everybody, come to, the, come to them with, a, with an offer on the table, right? And then if he don't take the offer, then somebody's scared. It's just as simple as that. Now, what, now if Terrence Crawford would be able to do such a thing, I'm not quite sure, right? I'm not sure how that's how would that work. You know, it, it, in the fight between him and Spence at that time, it was a, a battle between who's the A side and 50 50 and all this other stuff, right? So if Crawford came to him with a, a substantial amount of money, put it on the table, and Spence didn't take the fight, then he was ducking, right? That's pretty much what Roy Jones Jr. was said in a nutshell. Yeah, go check out the interviews on Fight Hype. It's not too long. But Roy Jones Jr. gives his thoughts on it, man. He says somebody's scared. And that's just what it is. Like, subscribe, hide your boy. Peace out.